All right, so this video is going over the classic shapes of graphs in microeconomic theory. You see these shapes over and over in many different models, and there's really powerful intuitions behind them. So um, I set up this model in another video. This is the classic model I like to return to. It is us. We're maximizing our objective function, which is our grades minus the opportunity cost. What are we modeling? That's going to be our choice. Our choice variable is time spent studying. So we're trying to figure out how much time will someone spend studying? What are going to be the forces influencing that? Um, and we've got two exogenous variables, intelligence and extracurricular commitments, which could include jobs outside of the um, classroom. It could include sports, things like that. And so we've got, it's a classic benefit minus cost model where the benefit depends on how much time we spend studying, grades depends on how much time we spend studying, and the opportunity cost depends on how much time we spend studying. So um, classic shapes are going to be diminishing marginal benefit and increasing marginal cost and we'll see if these fit those classic shapes. Oh and by the way um, when you set up graphs Usually it's going to be the choice variable on the x-axis, so in this case time spent studying will go on the x-axis with both graphs, and then our benefit is going to be on the y-axis because grades are a function of time spent studying and our opportunity cost is a function of time spent studying. All right, this is what the classic shapes look like. And of course, grades cannot exceed 4.0, so that we know that there's a maximum limit to the, that what your grades can be of 4.0, and that's going to indicate that you can never quite reach that, so we're probably going to have diminishing marginal benefit. But of course, it also makes sense that the, if you're only gonna spend half an hour a week studying, that half an hour is really valuable. You're gonna be able to study the most important things in that half hour, so there will be a pretty high marginal benefit, a pretty high movement up on grades going from zero studying to half an hour studying. But of course, if you're out here and you've already studied 10 hours, that um, tenth and a half hour, that extra half hour, is going to be less valuable because you've already studied everything that's really important and you're studying the less important things as you move along. So we're going to have this diminishing marginal benefit shape to the graph. Um, and you see this all over the place. Diminishing marginal utility, you rem might remember from principles of economics. Diminishing marginal product, meaning as you produce more products, um, uh, it becomes less and less efficient to produce them. Um, so there's anything that's good, that's considered a benefit in the model, you, you might suspect that it could potentially have this diminishing marginal benefit shape. Now the increasing marginal cost shape is also something that you see a lot of. And with opportunity cost, this has a pretty powerful intuition. The intuition is if you're going to give up um, a half hour of your week to, to study, what are you going to give up out of everything in your life? Are you going to give up time spent with friends? Are you going to give up time sleeping, time eating? Are you going to give up something less valuable like time spent watching TV? Um, so the reason behind this increasing marginal cost shape is the fact that um, you always give up the thing in your life that's least valuable to you as you add another half hour studying. So we can even label that. All right, so um, you basically order things in your life in the order of importance in terms of giving them up. So first you give up TV time because that's less important to you. And then after that, if you've given up all the TV time you have in your life, what else do you give up to spend an extra half hour studying? Maybe it's time with people who are sort of friends but not really close friends. And then maybe you give up exercise after that. And then maybe you give up sleep after that and your, your health and mental health is starting to suffer. So the value of the things you give up, that's what's represented by opportunity cost. The, the value of TV time is pretty low, so it's pretty low value, but when we come over here to us um, spending this extra half hour and we have to give up sleep, the value of that sleep is pretty high because it affects how you feel throughout your whole life. So there's a huge um, cost of that time that's, that you spend sleeping. So because of that 
Opportunity costs will have an increasing marginal cost shape, and that is something we see all over the place in economics. And you might imagine with financial investments, the more you invest, the more you could get because of returns. So there's going to have be this sort of increasing marginal cost shape when you're um, thinking of investing money as well. So those are the classic shapes of graphs in microeconomic theory.